morning everyone and welcome to another week of vlogmas today is monday i don't know what day this video is going to be going out but ali and i had such a nice weekend that i've gone into this week kind of like just feeling all of the good vibes. I mean, I'm just very, very happy at the moment and it makes me even happier to be happy. Today is a bit of an organization day. I've got lots to check off. It's obviously Christmas in a few days time, like next week. It's also my sister's birthday, my nephew's birthday. It's also my anniversary and it's all happening this week. So there's a lot to get done. Present wise, gift wise, and all of that stuff. Luckily, I've already ordered Ali's anniversary gift. It's not particularly romantic. It doesn't commemorate our day in any way, shape, or form, but it is an excuse for me to buy him something that I know he needs. And it's it's like the most impersonal gift, but I know that he needs it, and so that's what's important. So that's arriving tomorrow. I've got fluff on my nose. My dressing room is a mess. It's an absolute mess. So I definitely think that today is an organization day in here. I need to have a clear out. I'm gonna be selling loads of my clothes on my Depop probably, just because it's the least hassle. Not loads of them, but just the bits that are like brand new that can be sold on to someone else, especially at this time of year. I've got a couple of coats and things like that that I think will definitely go to better homes. So I'm gonna be doing that today, just making some space because I've also got a big far fetch order that I've got downstairs. I'm gonna be going through that with you tomorrow. Tomorrow's video, is probably, it's gonna be, it is, definitely is, a very, very luxurious video. I've got lots of stuff planned. Well, not lots of stuff planned, but it's gonna be pretty amazing. I'm looking forward to it. I wanted to come on here with makeup on, but actually, in reality, I just wanted to have a fresh face day. And I'm realizing that more often I'm wanting those. And I do feel a lot of pressure to come on here and be like, ah, oh, Look at me looking all glam, but in reality, these days I actually enjoy spending a lot more time without makeup on and just having a bit of a fresh face. So I've got some CC cream on, CC serum, a bit of face mist as well, maybe a little bit of concealer under my eyes, yeah. And some lip balm, I've got the um, Clay de Peau lip balm on. But it's one of those days when I'm like, I'm staying at home, I really don't need to be glam and I need to stop feeling like I need to be. Does that make sense? I feel a lot of pressure to look glam, if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. So I've got a nice cozy jumper dress on that I got from H&M and basically today's organization, because I did organize my beauty cupboard, I didn't organize my beauty drawers. And as you can see, everything is just a hot mess around here. I mean, look, there's just a boot. Like, what are these guys doing? They're just chilling by themselves. Like, where's the other boot? Oh, the other boot is on the table. Of course, that's such bad luck. But yeah, today is just cracking on cracking on. I've also just booked the catering for New Year's, which is really exciting. Need to sort out paying the deposit for that today. Ali was supposed to have started a group for that. He hasn't. Mr. Millen Gordon, do your job. He's down in London today though, so no more snuggles with him during the day. I feel like we had the snuggliest weekend and it was so nice. What else? I think that's about it. I think we're up to date. I think we're we're good to go. Also, something amazing arrived that is just a little bit late, but actually it feels like Christmas has come early. My Maison Christian Dior advent calendar has arrived and I was like, where is this? I have no idea where this is. And I have a lot of doors to open up. So I might open that with you later on in the video as well. But yeah, I felt a bit bad because it hadn't arrived to me and I was like, where is it? Oh dear. First things first, I need to get some washing on. I need to start organizing where stuff goes. I need to get my rail. I have this little rail that I keep in the bathroom and that's where I'm gonna hang the things that I'm gonna be selling and or giving away or giving to charity. All of these items, will you'll see where they go but that is the plan of action for today. Unfortunately, bit of an update. My stools that were supposed to be here by now, they were, I, I paid for them on a like five day turnaround. It's now a month and I actually have no correspondence. And so I'm a little bit upset about these stools because you know when you like pay for something and you want it to be, like you're told it's gonna to be a certain time and then it's not that time and then you have no idea when they're coming. I have no idea when they're coming and it's really, really frustrating. So I'm kind of on hold with everything in here, which is only a few finishing touches. I appreciate that, but they're just things that I'm really excited about. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on because we love cracking on. I love that my light is still out from doing my makeup over the weekend. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'm gonna to cut to a time lapse as well. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? I was sent this as an anniversary gift from one of my subscribers that I believe 
is a um, graphic designer. And look how cool that is. And she sent me a little bit of Moet, which if you remember, we had Moet at my wedding. So it's very, very lovely, very lovely. You know when you feel like you're just moving stuff around? That's what I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> Washing pile. I think the first thing that we need to do is like get this clear because it stresses me out. Although, it's probably better to go through the beauty drawers to be honest. Gifts. He's gonna go downstairs. I'm currently going through my underwear drawer, sorting that out. I like to have all of my underwear organized by color and by set so that I'm able to easily pick out my underwear in the morning so that they match and so that they're comfortable and so that they look nice as well. I've also got this huge big stocking. Ali and I have two of these already because we got them last year from Elizabeth Arden. They're made by Lauren Aston Designs. She's so, so talented. I wasn't able to go to an Arden trip either. All I feel like I'm telling you these days is trips that I wasn't able to go to. But I honestly think if I'd gone on this trip, I would have collapsed. I was so unwell and I just so was like, just, yeah, it wasn't good. But we've got a lovely little furry eye patch and then they've obviously filled it with Arden favorites as well. There's obviously a Christmas card in here. What do we have? The advanced ceramide capsules. We have, oh, a giant chocolate penny. Lovely. We have the retinal capsules. We have eight hour cream, essential, especially at this time of year. We have, oh, I don't know what that is, a little gift. And we have the vitamin C capsules as well. Lovely. And this will look so nice by the fireplace as well. In fact, I think I might use this one for Lumi's Christmas presents. <laughs> We are making considerable progress. This is like always my bits and bobs drawer where I just keep random bits, all brushes and stuff, hair bands, all of that stuff goes into here. I always have different compartments for things, but there's some empty at the moment. Um, also lots of pictures and books, and I keep my straighteners in here because I feed it up the back of the uh, drawer. Then I've got my little hair care drawer and ring light down there if I want to obviously blow dry my hair or use different styler and all of my brushes. It's just easier to keep it in a basket. It's just easier to keep it in a basket down here. This is my everyday makeup drawer. So I just keep lipsticks that I reach for most days, base products. I have just had a huge clear out so it may need a restock. So if you're not seeing anything that I usually use, then you know. Then we move into like my overflow of makeup. So foundations, eye stuff, new in bits, random bits. And this is all of the makeup that I allow myself to keep. So eye palettes, blushes, bronzers, highlighters. There's usually some powders dug in there. And then down here is lip products, lip balms, and then some odd, odd bits and bobs that just get thrown in there. But I think I'm quite tame with makeup and things like that. Then I've had a big sort out of in here. We've got fragrances, we've got hair care, we've got hair brushes, we've got tanning, we've got hair tools. Then we have bags and like toiletry bags. Then we have products that are to give away, give to people. I'm just feeding in these products up here. And that is about as far as we have got in this section. Lumi has just come bounding up the stairs, purring and meowing. And I can usually tell that by this meow, she wants to sit on my lap. It's so funny. She's like, brow, brow. and she like purrs really loudly, but she might be just looking in the cupboard, but usually she wants to curl up on my lap. And she usually sits there until I need a wee. Oh, she's in the cupboard. What are you doing? Why are you purring so loud? You're giving kisses to YouTube. Good girl. What? You want to sit on my lap? Come on, sit on my lap so I don't have to do any work. <laughs> Come on, damn it! <laughs> You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? What do you want? Meow. Come on then, tell me what you want. Do you want some food? Meow. Oh, you want coconut. Coconut. Okay. This stuff? You want this stuff? 
You want this? Yes. You do. You want a coconut. You want it? How much do you want it? You want lots of it? Yeah, you do. Come on then. She'll only have it off the spoon and she will cry and cry until I get it out for her. It's so funny, she just gets to a point, she's like, I don't want it anymore, and just walks off. Done? Now you're finished. You only clean your chops like that when you're finished. Good girl. <laughs> that was not supposed to take as long as it did. Wow, it is now gone five o'clock i think it's about 5 30 and i've only just finished but it has been a good organize however i have not cleared things out yet so i'm going to grab my rail and start picking the things out that i'm going to either sell or donate to charity you know that i obviously give anything that is work where appropriate i give it to uh smart works and i always donate those things and um, there will be items that aren't and there will be items that i sell but i kind of delegate that myself so i'm gonna grab my rail now and and I will start showing you some of the pieces that I'm going to sell and reasons why as well just to give you a bit of a breakdown because some of the items are expensive some of them won't be and it's just for kind of reasons why you should sell things on and not hoard things because I'm not a hoarder whatsoever I've really tailored down my beauty and I'm trying to tailor down my fashion as well so I'm being good so first thing I am selling is this Burberry coat this isn't the one that I got from my Teresa. This is the one that I had from before. This is more of a classic one. It's just too small for me. I would probably say that this is good for like someone very, 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 very petite or a teenager because this is very, I can't really do this up and it's very tight on my arms. So yeah, I would probably say that that is better suited size wise to someone of that sort of build, I guess. The same kind of goes for this place. This is the H&M one. I'm not sure if this is still in stock, but it was too small for me and it was I, I'd already worn it, so um, I'm gonna sell that. I've also got this blush, sort of marl Vince coat. It's just a little bit too long for me and I feel like maybe it drowns me a little bit, so I'm gonna sell that. I'm also selling this Karen Millen fur coat. I love it, but maybe it's a little bit too wild for me now. So I think I'm going to sell that. And also this Max Mara coat, which I love. It's even still got the little labely thing in it. But I, I got this because all of the more muted colours were sold out and I got it. And I love it, but it, again, I feel like maybe it drowns me a little bit. So I think I'm going to sell this one. But it's so nice and like snuggly and it's not too heavy either. So it's warm, but it's not heavy, which I really like because it's such a big coat. You don't want to be like, ugh weighed down by it so i'm going to be selling that as well it just doesn't need to sort of be in my wardrobe if i'm not wearing it especially when it's so expensive it's so funny we both have a rail in that bathroom of things that we like need to put out of our offices like if we're organizing a shoot or something like that we have that rail to to like pull items from and ali's stuff always ends up on my rail like there's a white one for me and a black one for him and his stuff always ends up on mine and I'm like you've got your own real boob but yeah I'm gonna take a little peek into this area of my closet these are like all of my dresses and things like that so I'm gonna have a clear out here because there are so many dresses that I don't wear in here so I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a wardrobe sale from here I think this is so typical of me I go through things and I'm like oh I love that I can't get rid of that. I think I'm gonna sell this dress from, I think it's Bash. I love it, it's real kind of Chloe vibes, but I've just never worn it, so I'm, I'm thinking that I'm probably never going to wear it. So yeah, I think that can go. It's a little bit more streamlined in there. It's not a massive difference, but 
I feel like I need to be more cutthroat. Got a strong rail there at the moment. It's a lot of stuff on there. Now I'm gonna look inside my tops cupboard which I definitely think I'll have some things that can go because I have so many tops. It's ridiculous. Ali's just got home from London. Babe, did you just say I'm wearing a horrendous outfit? Ali, this is, this is vlogs. This is not your, the main feed of your Instagram. This is where our true sloths come through. Yeah, show me what you got from All Saints, and I'm jealous that you got to see Paula today. Did you give Paula a big squeeze? Squidge. A big squidge. That is very snazzy. Yeah. So you see it's got a really soft look out. Yeah, can you do the collar up for me? Mm, not really a jacket with a collar up. Today. Yeah, it is. So it closes. No, that's a collar up jacket. Okay. I really like that. I really like that coat with your tracksuit bottoms and your hobbit feet. <laughs> So that is the rail of stuff that I've cleared out so far. I think I've got a little bit more to do in the other cupboards here, but that is a good start. This is a very sad day. Not only am I clearing out my wardrobe, but we're also saying goodbye to... Are we gonna actually get rid of it? No, I don't have to, just in case. I don't think we should get rid of it. Can you keep it in the loft? No, no, don't keep it in the loft. Maybe keep it somewhere that she might sleep in it. So Lumi used to sleep in this bed when she wanted to get away from Lynx. And obviously Lynx is no longer around, so she sleeps basically everywhere that Lynx used to sleep, so she doesn't sleep in her bed anymore. Tonight, I am vlogging Ali doing his unboxing because I cannot believe how jealous I am of his parcels. You've got some serious parcels. He's got one from Fortnum and Mason. He's got one from Todd's. I am so jealous right now. My top, by the way, is two years old. Yeah, he's not Mr. Gordon anymore. So if anyone says... We'll just get Millen put on the back. <laughs> I can't believe how jealous I am. So I've actually never had a pair of Tods. I've always wanted you to have a pair of Tods. Always wanted you to have a pair of Tods. Are you sure you didn't buy me these? I didn't buy you these. Is that Hogan? Yes. Oh, now I'm jealous. They must be owned by the same company then. <laughs> I want to be careful just in case, because I feel like this might not be for me. I feel like... You, well, you haven't ordered me anything from Hogan, have you? I've not ordered anything. They're going to be some kicks from Hogan. Can you imagine if it's not for you? You'll know if they're a size five that they're for me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the side of the box. What size is it? Eight. No way. I did know these were coming. Did you? Yes. Completely forgot. Wow, that was a while ago. Hogan kicks are nice. Dear <laughs> Come on, show us the shoes, babe. Oh, wow, vibey. Nice. Slow-mo sound effects and everything. Yeah, you know Ali's excited when he gets the sound effects out. Ooh, spare laces. That is always a good thing. Lumi's wow. just inspecting your loot. I love these. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, they feel good. Do they? Yeah. You like them, Lumi? Nice. Nice. Nice sneaks. Very. A closer look. Yeah, show a bit of a close up. I've never seen this texture before. It's kind of like. I done. Corky. Very cool. Nice big heel. Yes, gives me some extra height. Yeah. So that's the first box. Next box. So this one is from Elemis. Ooh. Ooh, snazzy. So this is the uh, oh men's grooming kit. Oh, yeah, we've already got one of those. Nice. 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 Superfood skin feast. Oh, feast wow. is such a good word. The veggie mask. Oh my gosh. Okay, I reckon it's so. from James. Yay, more baskets. <laughs> oh, I think it's supposed to be this. Open me. Who's it from? It's for us. Oh, from who? It doesn't say. What? That's hilarious. It, does, it might say somewhere else. It just says, to Ali and Lydia, have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Look forward to a great 2020. I reckon that's James. Do you think? Yeah. Why would you not write James at the end? I don't know. He's your manager. He's a weirdo. <laughs> He's... Yes, it's James. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was James. Good old James. Lovely. The basket's for me, and what's inside is for Ali. Oh, I do love a Fortnum's hamper. They're so festive. Oh, is this a little mini? Yeah. It's the Christmas Express hamper. 
caramelized onion. Ooh, we can have that with camembert yeah. on Christmas Day. Yeah. Loose leaf tea? Yes. Christmas nutcracker biscuits. Ooh, they'll be good for Christmas Day. Yeah. Some apricot preserve. Lovely. Amazing. Good stuff. All the goodies. All the good stuff. What's next? What's next? I love that he didn't put his name on it. We had to decipher the code. I love that you got it straight away though. You're like, that's from James. A hundred percent James. Yeah, James would No, he didn't tell me, but I know that no first of all, no one else would spend that amount of money on us. <laughs> this is from L'Oreal. L'Oreal, okay. Well, it could be from anyone. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is. Thanks, guys. I was told about this today. What they is it? They told me about it. And then I was like, oh, okay, wee. <laughs> what is it? Huh? It's football school, isn't it? This is the football that you wanted in the video. One of those soft footballs that you can kick around the house. That is going straight outside. Ali. Oh, it's you. And this is um, fragrance. Neymar has his fist mould on the bottle with his hand tattoo. Mm -hmm. And so football, obviously. Is Neymar's football. Ties in. It's Neymar's football. What's next? What's next? Mm. Now this I would have brought. No, why would it be at my dad's Amazon. Office? Yeah, but it went to dad's office. How weird is that? What is that? Oh wow. Are they headphones? No, it's a bloody robot Hoover. What? Bagotti. Bagotta. Bagotti. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Oh, wow. Bagotte. I wasn't expecting that. Come on, last box, last. So we've got. Gosh, you've been spoiled, babe. That's what I needed today. To start off my week. This says Lydia. Does it? Yeah. This is you. You open it for me, babe. You can do my unboxing. Ooh. That is a very big box for wow. what looks not like a lot. What is it? Wow, niche cushion. This is a Ren. Oh. Sleep. Oh my God, Carrie will love this. It's got bloody zebra. Yeah. Zebra seahorse on it. I might leave this for Carrie. Carrie will like this. Yeah, she will. If Carrie doesn't like it, then I don't know what she likes. Oh, very happy. That was lovely of James. He didn't have to do that. I think he does it every year, babe. Did he not do it last year? I think so, yeah. You very happy with all of your yeah. deliveries? I'm very happy, yeah. Thank you. You're a spoilt moo moo. Ali spent the day with All Saints. And I went to see Diesel. And Diesel. That's how I know about the football. Because they said to me, we've sent you a football. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. <laughs>